welcome to our lesson for today. So, remember, last time we talked about how God saved Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from burning in the fire, and how God is powerful and strong, and we should always choose to remain loyal to God. So now, let's see what happens next when Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego continued living in Babylon. The king's life was going okay and he was happy and everything was fine but again he began to have dreams and there was this dream that he had and he did not know what it meant so he called all his wise men and told them could any of you tell me what my dream means but none of them could so when Daniel came the king began to explain to him what, he dream, what his dream was so he told him I saw a big tree and it was very huge and it was tall and it was so big and the tree was used by people the people ate from it the fruits and the birds built their nests on the tree and the animals used the tree for shade but one time an angel came down from heaven and he ordered cut down that tree and immediately the tree was cut down so when the tree was cut down only the stump of the tree remained and the stump turned into a man and the angel said this man will live in the open like an animal and the mind of this man will just be like an animal imagine so when daniel had this dream he became very quiet and he didn't want to speak and the king told him don't be worried daniel just speak and sadly daniel began to speak and he said i wish this dream was not about you your majesty the tree in your dream represents you you are the tree you are strong you are tall you protect other people they live under you and you protect all you are the tree but if you do not recognize god's greatness if you do not turn to god and worship him and praise him and understand that he is more powerful than you then you will be the stump that turned into a man you will go mad you will forget who you are you will lose yourself and you will live like an animal please your majesty please listen to the warning in the dream daniel begged him please listen to the warning in your dream be kind to the poor people be just and most of all be humble then your dream will not happen so the king forgot about what Daniel had said and he continued with his life and one day as he was walking around and he was looking around and he stood and said all this I have made it by myself I have done all these so great things and how beautiful Babylon looks all of it by myself just me 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 and then immediately the king went mad a madness came over the king and he forgot who he was and he went out and he lived in the forest and he lived in the fields in the open space and he lived like an animal he ate grass his hair grew long and it looked bad and untidy his nails grew long and long and long and they all looked very ugly and the king forgot who he was completely and he stayed like this he stayed mad for seven long years the king stayed mad the king remembered who he was and he saw how he was living and he knew that he was not all powerful that title belonged only to god so he remembered and he went back home yes so children what we learn from this story is we should not boast about the things we do about our achievements we should not boast about them like king nebuchadnezzar we should be humble and we should thank god because god is the one who is all powerful we are not all powerful but god is all powerful so now it's time for us to sing our song so everyone stand up and help us sing this song 
Okay, kids, it's time to sing our song. Now, we've just talked about how Daniel told that the king that there is no greater power than that of God. And if he refuses to recognize this, he'll go mad. And he did. So, we are going to sing a song that reminds us that there is no greater power than God's. So, everyone, stand up and help us sing this song. power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad, and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that designed the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad, and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that designed the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater So, we've just talked about how Daniel told King Nebuchadnezzar that your dream means that you will go mad if you do not accept God and recognize him as great and all-powerful. But King Nebuchadnezzar still forgot and didn't listen to Daniel's warning. Then he ended up going mad. So, we are going to make a mad King Nebuchadnezzar. And on top of this, we're going to write Daniel chapter 4. And here, we're going to write do not forget God's word. God is all powerful because we need to remember that God is all powerful all the time. But we don't start boasting and being prideful. But we remember that all of this comes from God and God is more powerful than us. So we have characters here that we have different pieces of manila paper that we've created. So we're going to use these pieces to make the face and we're going to color them. But first thing we need to do is we need to staple them. So. I have a carved shape, a large carved shape, and this is going to represent the body of King Nebuchadnezzar. So place it at the bottom of your card and take your stapler and staple the shape on. Okay? Next, I have a shape here that looks like a head. So I'm going to put that on top and staple that together top of that curved shape. So it's another curved shape that I am stapling on top of my first curved shape. Then I have a piece here that is going to represent King Nebuchadnezzar's hair because remember he was living, no I'm not going to because remember he was living in the field and his hair grew long and shaggy and it looked ugly. So we have a piece that we've drawn and it looks spiky and we're going to staple that on top of the curved piece that we had. Now, when you staple this, be sure to leave space because we need to be able to put our eyes on. So I have two eyes here. So I have two eyes here that I'm going to place. And I'm going to put them side by side. Now make sure these eyes look funny and shaggy and weird. And I'm going to use my glue stick to place them on because they're smaller. So I'm going to use my stick of glue 
I'm just going to put glue at the back here and then I'm going to stick one eye on and then stick the other eye on. Stick one eye on and stick the other eye on. Once you've stuck those, I have another shape here that looks like a nose. So I'm going to put that shape here right in the middle. So that's my nose. It's going to be right in the center of the eyes. Then another shape, I have my ears. Now for my ears, when I place glue and I place them, I'm going to put it right here behind. So put glue on one side, then carefully put it underneath the face. So it looks like the ears are coming out from behind. Then do the same thing on the other side with your other ear. Okay. So other things we need to add in is we need to add in hands. We need to give King Nebuchadnezzar hands. So I have here a shape that looks like a hand. So I'm going to put glue and then stick it on the side of my round shape. Because remember we said that round curved shape, almost dome shape is going to be our body. So stick it on the side of the body. And then stick the other hand on the other side of the body. Now my second hand, I drew it sort of curved because remember we said while in the forest, while living in the fields and being mad, King Nebuchadnezzar ate like an animal. So we're going to give him grass so that he can be eating grass. So put that hand on the other side and make sure it is a carved hand. Okay. Then last thing we need to add is we need to add in his tongue. So his mouth is open in this picture of ours and he'll be eating grass. So we have a shape that we've cut out as a tongue. And I want you to place that right underneath where you've stapled. So it looks like he has his tongue hanging out of his mouth. Okay, so now we have our shape. Next thing we need to do is we need to color this person of our soul. Nebuchadnezzar looks like an actual person. So take your colors and start coloring them. Last thing we're going to add is we need to add his grass. So after he's all colored, we need to add grass. Because remember we said King Nebuchadnezzar was eating grass while he was in the fields. So what we have is we have green manila paper that we've cut into strips. And we've cut into shapes and we're just going to cut it and put it in his mouth. Almost like he is eating grass. So make sure the strips are thin. Then we'll put them together and King Nebuchadnezzar will be eating them because what happened is when he went mad, he began to eat grass. So just glue the grass onto his hand, on top of his hand, almost like he's shoving it into his mouth to eat it. because he's eating it, make sure the grass grow, goes underneath the mouth. Okay. Okay, so this is our picture. This is the picture we've created. Next thing we need to do is we need to write down what this picture is supposed to be showing us. So take your pen and write Daniel chapter 4, which is where we find the story of King Nebuchadnezzar going mad because he didn't listen to God's warning. 
So Daniel chapter 4. Then say, Be humble. And recognize that God is all powerful and great. So be humble and recognize that God is all powerful and great. So this is our craft for today and whenever we see this we remember King Nebuchadnezzar and how he went mad and how he went mad because he did not recognize that God was great and all powerful. So this has been our craft for today and this has been our lesson for today. So we'll see next time what continues to happen in the life of Daniel but until then, bye!